Brian McCann quickly made a positive impression on his Yankee teammates when he arrived for his first spring camp last year, both on and off the field. He's a stand-up guy. You know, you don't really know what to expect when you get guys coming in from other teams that have had very good careers. It was nice to see that he's as nice a guy as he looked like. He's just a great guy, and, and he works hard, and he cares about his job. You know, he cares about his pitchers, too, so he wants to, to get to know you and, and um, you know, kind of know what you want to do. You know, I see McCann back there, and I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be exciting, you know, because I grew up a Braves fan, you know, and, uh, you know, just from day one, it was, you know, it's, it's like he'd known me for, you know, 20 years. He's got a handful of all-star appearances under his belt. Uh, he's been in the postseason. Um, he's... He's the type of guy that you can rely on. I thought Mac did a really good job last year with everything that was thrown upon him, whether it was having to learn, you know, I don't know, 15 starters because of all the injuries we had, helping him you know, with a guy like David Robertson who had never closed before, bringing along a Dellin Patanzas, bringing along an Adam Warren, just doing a tremendous job with our bullpen. I think everybody in the clubhouse knows how he goes about his business. They see, you know, they see how hard he's working and how much he cares. and. Uh, you know, all that plays into earning that trust on the field, and when you get on the field and uh, it's competition time, uh, I mean, they rely on Mac 100%. As the season progressed, his defense and handling of the pitching staff behind the plate was as advertised. But at the plate, a lack of familiarity with an entirely new set of opposing pitchers and other factors had him struggling. He was uncomfortable. When you struggle and, you know, certain balls you've hit for, for a long time that you're fouling off and you don't really have an answer for it. Um, I, I think that you, you just try harder. You, you, you try to do more than, than what you need to do. And, um, you know, I feel like that, that's kind of what, what I fell into last year. Maybe his average wasn't as high as, as all of us would have liked, but he was productive in, in drove in runs and hit home runs. First, I got, I got my swing back. I got my uh, last year. I, I had some mechanical flaws that I guess over time uh, developed and took me a little bit longer than than I than I had hoped to, to correct them. And you know, with six weeks to go in the season, I I was driving the baseball again and going into this off season, you know, putting the bat up for two months and then picking it up at at the new year, you know, January one and. And to feel better than I did during the season was, uh, was a big plus. I was able to pick up right where I left off, and I feel really confident going into the season. Here again, adjustments made based on veteran awareness and experience can certainly contribute to Brian's return to form. But one thing won't change. Yankee pitchers still love throwing to him. We always try to be the same page to the, make the pitcher comfortable on the mound. I have a lot of trust in Mac. And, you know, I'm one of those pitchers that throws a lot of splits that go into the ground. Obviously, he blocks that for me, so I have absolute um, you know, trust in Mac. I owe the better part of, you know, basically my whole season to, to Brian McCann. You know, he got me more than anybody. You know, just I felt like when he put it, you know, put down the pitch, he had confidence in that pitch, as if I, you know, as much confidence in the pitch that I had. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate him. He's one of the reasons why I had the year I had last year. He, he's guided me since, since the start of the season, so he's there. And, you know, I love having him back there. And he's a great guy. He's going to go about everything with the best of his ability. You know, he's not going to leave anything on the table, especially with Jeets, you know, uh, moving on with his career, um, you know, kind of look to Mac now to uh, kind of you know, step in and kind of assume that role as, as the, uh, the vocal leader and the, the uh, lead by example type guy.